Hey guys, we're here at the Caldwell Booth 2024 SHOT Show. I'm going to show you the new Velociradar chronograph from Caldwell. This has been a project of mine for a while. Really excited that we're finally getting to show it to you guys. What it is, is a radar chronograph. So it actually sits on the bench next to the shooter. Uh, what sets us apart from other radar chronographs on the market really is the type of radar we're using. Uh, most of our competitors are going to use a Doppler radar. That's a continuous signal that goes out. It is good at detecting a speed. It's good at measuring speed, but it doesn't have the ability to measure the distance the speed was captured at. So the problem there is, if, especially you guys that reload and stuff, understand that bullet's losing velocity the minute it leaves the barrel. So if your radar chronograph has a range of, say, 20 yards, it's pretty common out of smaller units, uh, and it's using Doppler, it doesn't know if it detected that bullet at 5 feet, at 5 yards, 10 yards, 20 yards, you know, et cetera, anywhere in between. So you have that inconsistency of velocity just because you can't control uh, the distance. It's just going to represent it all as one number. So it's not a true muzzle velocity, nor is it a true velocity at a single set distance. Um, other thing that we can do with that chirp, because we have that that distance, the chirp or chirp radar that we use sends out bursts of signal. So we can measure and know exactly when we measure a bullet, how fast it was going, and the exact distance that that bullet was at. And we can track that out to 100 yards. So what's going to happen, this kind of what makes this thing more than just a chronograph. We'll fire some shots here on the simulator. See, we got a muzzle velocity. We have our shot count there, so we've shot eight times. We have a minimum, average, and max, pretty standard there. Standard deviation, extreme spread, all chronograph stuff. What sets the parts of the little box down in the corner? We calculate the ballistic coefficient for every shot. So what that allows us to do, because we know a true BC for that round that was just shot, we can calculate back this number here, and that's a true velocity at the muzzle at the bench. So you're starting out in your ballistic calculator for you long range guys. You have a solid muzzle velocity. You have a BC for that bullet in your rifle, in that caliber, in your conditions. Because the one on the bullet, box of the bullets is going to be taken at a different velocity. Usually a higher velocity than what we shoot, usually. Uh, but anyway, the conditions will never match up perfectly. This is a better, this is a truer start when you put that, that data into your ballistic calculator. The other cool thing is now we can monitor that ballistic coefficient as we keep shooting, and we can see it stay pretty stable, up and down, okay, we had one fall off there. And, you know, and what that'll show is if you see big swings, that can be a stability, indication that you're having a stability issue with that bullet. It could be a twist rate issue, it could be something in the loading process. You didn't chamfer and deburn, you damaged that jacket. You damage the tip while seating it, uh, any number of things to be getting damaged um, in the process of loading it into the rifle, the rifling can be damaged, any number of things. But before now, all we could monitor was our group sizes and uh, velocities, but there was no way to get an indication of how stable that bullet was flying, uh, you know, downrange. But now we have a device that we can monitor that type of stuff with. Uh, we're really excited. It's retailing for $499.99. Uh, it will be available in, in April, probably May, by the time it hits the retailers. Um, you know, we're really excited. Awesome. Thank you so much, dude. Awesome. Thank you, Randall.